Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of used vehicle sales dot Mitsubishi Outlander for sale dot com dot AU. And in this video, I am going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2012 model automatic four wheel drive one that I got for sale right here on my yard. Now, when I buy these cars, first thing I like to do is get down the side here like this. See in the reflections there? I'm looking for dents. Well, this baby doesn't have one. It's got three stone chips. One, two, three. And by the time you come out, our touch-up guy will have been out and touched them up anyway, so they won't even be there. And if you have a look down here, there's no dents. Well, what that tells me is this car's been kept up the other end of the car park, well away from everyone, so that it didn't get any scratches. I like to also get out here and check this. See how those tires, they're wearing evenly across the surfaces? That tells me all the suspension geometry, steering components and all that, that they're all doing exactly what they should. Now, this one does have the alloy wheels and it's got this little thing in the mirror that makes it look pretty cool when it flashes at you. But it's also got this keyless thing. So the way this works, you come along and you're like, oh, hi, beep, and you unlock and then to lock again. But that key thing stays in there. But the car won't start unless you've got that in your pocket. So I'm going to stick her in my pocket. But we've got all the power windows and the power mirrors and stuff here. Here's the condition of the seats. Looking good. And I like to put these rubber mats in here because we're on dirt, as you can see. And I don't like getting the cars dirty, especially after they've come back from detailing. So let's give her a start. There we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but she's started. And there's the radio and all that sort of stuff happening there. All groovy. We've got... You can adjust it from here on the steering wheel. Turn that up and down. The aircon is icy cold. Everything's working like it should. No defects. I'll cover more of that in one sec. It does have the four-wheel drive, so you can take this baby on the beach and stuff like that. Here's a look at the dash. It's got the 139 something Ks on the clock there. So um, nice and fresh in the kilometers. So cruise control, all that sort of stuff. You operate it from here. It's got the burnout off button. So if you want to turn on your sonar and turn off burnouts, you can do that there. <laughs> so that's all that. Uh, what that one's really about is when it's beeping when you're backing up to something. Oh, something else it's got. Check this. I'll put her in reverse. Ah, oh, look at that. It's got the camera that comes up in the mirror there. And you put it into park, so I'm just putting it into reverse. There she is. That looks shit hot. That looks really cool when you're trying to reverse along somewhere, and there it is. You can see what's coming behind you got this paddle shift thing here so if you think you're driving a race car you can change gears like that most people would never use that stuff but hey it's there if you want it it's a 12 month 2012 there's the VIN number all that stuff got the roof racks up there so if you um well let's have a look inside here I'll show you the back seats now a couple of things I really like about these is not where the detailers left the water bottle in there that you're not meant to see so let's unsee that <laughs> and so but there's a good look around the general condition. But see how that seat's forward and this one's back? They're on rails. You can slide them back and forward, which is pretty cool. So let's go around the back. I want to show you another thing. This one is the extra lovely sexy model. And I'm not talking about my hairy pins you can see in the background there. I'm talking about the car. So there's those bloody reversing sensor things down there. Now check this. If you pop that up, now here's what happens, right? This car is a child eater. So here's all the space in the back, there is plenty, and you can drop that down if you want to, make it a bit shorter for putting stuff in, or if you just want to sit there and dangle your legs, drinking stubbies, perfect height for doing it. So, why is this car a child eater? Because this is what happens at my place, right? The kids get inside here, the daughter will sit in there, one of the boys will come around, they pull this, and they hold it, wait, wait, and then, boom! Seat folds down, folds the daughter up inside. Who just did that, I say? Not me, not me, they say. So I know it was one of them because she's in there squealing. So that's what happens at my place. Hopefully not at yours. Now this is a pretty cool feature too. That comes out there. So when you've got all your goodies and your stuff stashed in the back, no bastard can see what's in there so they can't nick it. Not that you can see through the tinted windows anyway, but if they don't know it's in there, they can't nick it. And if you don't want, don't like it, you just take that out like that and put it in your garage and get it out next time you sell the car. <laughs> That's what most people do with them. But it's there if you want it. Now it does have a tow bar. You can see how big that bastard is. If you have that poking out of there, it's gonna bust your shins when you walk past it. 
So it's a pretty good idea that you just take it out and leave it in there. So if you do need to tow stuff with your extra lovely, sexy Mitsubishi Outlander, then you can. What else can I show you down here? Oh, there's a scratch. Look at that. We'll get our touch-up guy to have a crack at that. Probably won't even be there when you come here. In fact, in fact, that one's just going to come out. So there we go. Have a look around. It's got the, the tyres. You can see the condition of those. Alloy wheels, all that. Another look at that seat in there. Pretty groovy. And in the passenger side, here's a good look around there. These fellas have got two glove boxes. One there, one there. Pretty, very awesome. Well, when the cars come into our yard, we do a whole bunch of testing and stuff on them. And in the next part of this video, I'm gonna tell you the three things. I'm gonna tell you how all our prices are fixed. I'm gonna show you all the work that we do on the cars when they come in and what standard they must meet before they're allowed to go out for sale. And lastly, I'm gonna tell you everything that comes with the car for the price you see it advertised. Let's go. So when the cars come into the yard, we do six levels of inspection. The first one is we do a road test. We drive it around a very specific test track and we listen for all those noises and stuff that shouldn't be there. Then we do a yard test. And so in the yard test, what we're looking for is that everything works like it should, like the windows go up and down, the fan works, everything in the car is working like it should. And if it's not working, I will have mentioned it in the previous video. Then it goes into mechanical. The mechanic's got a quite an extensive checklist of things that he uh, inspects, things like is the spare tire there and is it fully inflated and all those sorts of things. All that stuff's done and that's what's covered off in mechanical. So that's the third level. On the fourth level, we do a roadworthy inspection. We get an independent mechanic who does his roadworthy inspections on the vehicles. He's licensed by Queensland Transport to come out or do them at his facility. Either way, it doesn't matter. But he does the inspections on them. He gets underneath every single car and he checks all the suspension components and all the things that are required for the roadworthy. So we have a properly done roadworthy certificate by an independent person come out as well. And then on the fifth level of check, we do a quality assurance or a QA run. What happens there is someone who hasn't driven the car and hasn't worked on it, he then goes and drives the car after it's been through mechanical. And he's basically doing a double check like what a buyer would do. They get in it and if there's a noise, they're like, ooh, what's that noise? Or stuff like that. He comes back if there's any of those things then we've identified them through the QA run. And what that does for you is it allows, well from, from my point of view, it allows me to know and stand there quite confidently and know that the car is prepared properly. And then on the sixth level of check, what we do is before the car goes out, um, well so after it's finished the QA, the cars then go out the front of the yard and you would have seen them in the background of the previous part of this video. Um, and they sit out there until they go out. Well, before they go out, we do another level, the sixth level of check, where we just check that the wipers are still working, that the uh, little sprayers haven't blocked up, that none of the bulbs haven't stopped working or any of that sort of stuff. So there's the six levels of inspection that we do on each one of the cars. Now, I don't expect you to believe me when I tell you I prepare the cars like that, but as you could tell from the previous video, we are on dirt. I do not have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come down. In fact, this is me pouncing on you now. So if you're still, hello, you there? Hello, come back so I can pounce on you some more. <laughs> so if you're still there, the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't have all that expensive shit, we don't have the overheads. And it allows me to put the money back into the cars. And that's why but I don't expect you to believe that either. But what you should do is go and have a look at our Facebook reviews and you'll see the vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because of the work we put into preparing the cars. So with, with that, we have buyers, they come from way up north, like up Cairns, way, way out west. They catch the train down, to, well, they catch the plane to Brisbane, they catch the train to our location here, and then they drive their car off. If they don't, if we don't prepare the cars properly and they fall apart on their way home, they don't get on Facebook and write good reviews. So that's why I'm proud of the level of all of the cars that I prepare. Although I muck around in these videos, what I don't compromise on is the quality and the standard that the cars are prepared to before they leave the yard. And that's reflected in our Facebook reviews. The link is included on this page. So go and have a look and see what the crowd says about working with us.
So because of the work we put into the cars, all the prices are fixed. If you turn around and go, hey Dean, are you negotiable? I'd be like, yes, I'm negotiable, but why would you want to pay more? <laughs> so I do that because I seriously, I can't take out what we put into those cars. And frankly, I don't want to. If the cars don't meet the standard, or they can't easily be brought up to that standard, I launch them off through an auction. And that's why you shouldn't buy cars from auctions, because that's where blokes like me dump our garbage. Okay, so this car has been through all the inspection and is come up properly and is prepared properly. So therefore I have nowhere to move on the price. The prices are already good anyway, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on and got this video. So the price, so the prices are all fixed. And the last thing I want to tell you before I tell you what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised is that we need to make appointments to come out. Now we are not your typical yard, like I said before. We can't. We're not equipped for people just to roll up and walk out. You're more than welcome to come and check the cars out and take them for a spin. I've got no trouble with that. But you just need to let us know when you're coming. We've got a couple of guard dogs that roam around here, and they we put those away when people are coming, and uh, that way no one gets bit. Everyone's happy. So you let us know when you're coming. We'll put the dogs away. We'll open up the gates and um, we can show you the car and you can have a look over that and any others that might work for you, whatever you want. So please make an appointment before you come out. So what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for? Good question and I'm glad that you asked. So firstly, is it comes with either six months Queensland Rego or the Rego that you see like the date. Have a look in the text above. It'll tell you the expiry date or six months, whichever one it is. If you're an interstate buyer, give us a call. We'll tell you how that works for you. We are a large dealer with Queensland Transport. What that means is we have the number plates on site. We have all the paperwork, all the forms, all that stuff. So you don't even need to go into the government department and get sneezed on by all the grubs. We do all that for you. Aren't we good? So all you got to do is fill out some forms. We stick the paper, the number plates on. We do all the paperwork for you. Drive away, nothing else to do. All that's included in the price you see. The next thing is when the cars go through mechanical, one of the things we do is a fresh service. So your vehicle has been freshly serviced and you will not need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not stolen, guaranteed never written off. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. And it's also got a current roadworthy certificate. So we have the independent inspector. He's got a license from the Queensland government and he's the one who says this car is in a roadworthy condition. So we've brought the car up to that standard as well. So it comes with the roadworthy. The car also, get this one, it has guaranteed no defects. So when I'm selling a car like this one, when I, if I make this guarantee to you, you'd want to make sure I'm onto it. Because if not, I'm going to back it with this guarantee. So it's got guaranteed no defects. A defect is when the car doesn't do, or a part of it doesn't do what it's meant to do. For example, if you go to wind down a window and the window doesn't wind down or it sort of half winds down, that's a friggin' defect. But if you've got like a tear in a seat or a noise, that's not a defect because a seat with a tear in it still does what it's meant to do. Okay, so I'm guaranteeing that this car has no defects and I also hold that guarantee for the next uh, 5,000 Ks in three months. So if it does incur a defect, and there are some exclusions to it, we show you all that on the paperwork anyway, then those issues become my problem and not your problem. So yes, we do trade-ins, and if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of this page that says no deposit finance. He can put your details in there, and our finance guy will come back and he'll give you a quote on exactly how much it will cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. Well, I'm Dean. Thanks for watching this video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, or whatever you want to do. We can take payment by cash, by credit card, by internet transfer, bank check, however you want to do it. Best off if we do internet transfer. That one works best for us. Uh, but however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I'm Dean. Thanks for watching the video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, and uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. See ya.